What it says is that I spent the better part of my adult life in the legislature, uh, 28 years, uh, ranging from ranked freshman to pro tem of the Senate. And one of my uh, interests from the beginning was the criminal justice system. And because of that, I, I worked on uh, some of the reforms, including drug courts, never dreaming I would actually be a participant in a drug court. My father, I, I am of the old generation that drank alcohol and those before me. Uh, almost all of the young people that are in drug court with me, alcohol is not their primary addiction. Uh, unfortunately, it's a full range of uh, pills, prescriptions, uh, weed, uh, meth, uh, terms that most people, bath salts, that people haven't heard, or many of them they haven't heard, and some I didn't. But that's, that's the scourge that's destroying our country and certainly Oklahoma. Charges, uh, humiliation, embarrassment, uh, uh, cost, um, loss of some friends, not many, uh, shame I've brought on family members, uh, obviously myself. I didn't even drink until I was commissioned into the Air Force in uh, 1968 and was sent overseas immediately during the Vietnam War. Just had no interest in it, but as time passed it became uh, admittedly a crutch. Uh, but I, you know, I don't want to say the word functional alcoholic, uh, but I survived up here for 28 years through good and bad times. I served 33 years in the military, uh, was promoted to the rank of full colonel. Uh, so, you know, you can, you can say a lot of things to yourself if you have certain accomplishments you're proud of, but at the same time, uh, I think I have to admit uh, my failings and getting behind a vehicle and, and driving while impaired is, is clearly stupid, embarrassing, dangerous, and against the law. I, you know, I can blame it on the pressures of the job, and pro tem is a incredibly difficult task, uh, hardest job I've ever had, but that's, that's an excuse, not a reason. It's not like one day you wake up and say, uh, alcohol is my answer to dealing with these pressures. It doesn't work like that in my case. It was a gradual <clears throat> increase in usage that impaired my judgment uh, and became uh, far more dominant in my life to deal with the environment in this building than it should have. You, you get when you are one of supposedly the three decision makers in this building and you have a eight billion dollar budget and you're trying to deal with in my case 47 <clears throat> egomaniacs with the title of senator uh, it, it can be overwhelming and I am a type A person I've learned uh, in, in uh, treatment <clears throat> and you want to please everybody and so as I added <clears throat> those requirements, put them all together, uh, alcohol became my way of not obviously pleasing everybody, but dealing with everybody. When you're at your zenith, you're also you're mo at your most vulnerable time. The myth is that this you find these people under the I-35 bridge south of Norman. You can, I've met them. Tonight there'll be five men, two women sleeping there. I know them. Some are in drug court with me. Uh, but that is a myth. 
you can also go to Charleston's in Northwest Oklahoma City tonight, and you, you wouldn't have a tag on them, <clears throat> but they also are there. So uh, it is a disease, a debilitating, uh, gradual, incestuous, silent killer of men, women, and children uh, that's rampant in this state. It's one day at a time. If you tell yourself, I'll be good, I'll be okay for a month, uh, most alcoholics, drug offenders, know that is a myth. What you have to do is get up every day and say the following, I'm going to have a good day, not a bad day. And during this day, a part of my day is not going to be taking a drink. I'm not going to do it today. can't promise you about tomorrow or the next day, but that's what I'm going to do today. That's good enough. That'll work. And today, for me, is day 617 without a drink. Uh, tomorrow will be 618 if I make it to tomorrow. I plan to. What I learned in drug court is you better comply. They are serious about the requirements. Most don't make it. Certainly not uh, as quickly as I have. The fastest you can get through drug court is 15 months. Drug court will work with proper um, support networks. It is not easy. Uh, it shouldn't be easy. But it, it is the best solution for tens of thousands, perhaps hundreds of thousands, of afflicted Oklahomans. And it's also the best solution for millions of Oklahoma taxpayers because it costs only about 5000 a year to participate in drug court, and the participants pay almost all of that. I'm proud we created drug courts 20 years ago. These guys have done everything they can to <clears throat> destroy the mental health system in this state, the drug court system in this state. Talk is cheap. It costs money to deal with those issues, and we don't. And that's why I just wrote an article about why we're 46th and about everything that's important. Uh, and we're the 46th state, and we seem to be okay with that. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm part of the problem. But it can happen to anybody, and it does. Mm -hmm.